Hello Aries. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. Okay. And also please excuse my nails. My nails looking crazy. The color is looking off. <laughs> Universe, what's the current energy between Aries and the person that's on Aries' mind? Universe, what's the current energy between Aries? Nine of Cups. Ooh, okay. So I got two energy from this. I see there's someone that's really crushing on you. They see you as everything, especially like if you work somewhere new, you have a new office space, um, you in a new environment. I feel like there's someone that's really crushing on you. This person could be a Pisces or a Gemini. Now, also I'm getting if you are in a relationship, you are really happy with each other. Like you guys are happy with each other. Um, this could be a newer relationship with that page being here. Um, and then also if you're single, you have plenty of options. You have plenty of options. You're trying to see which person is the best for you. Universal person that's on Aries mind. We like to say to Aries, Eight of Cups. Okay. Hmm. It's changing <laughs> the storyline. So with the Eight of Cups being here, this could be someone who was with someone else they was caught up with someone else and now they left that person you see that's what i'm getting universe the person that's on aries mind why are they keeping hidden from aries eight of pentacles so this could be someone that you have history with because the eight for me is a karmic number so um this person could be someone that you perceive as a karmic or they was dealing with their karmic okay you guys have some history um now they're trying to work on this connection you see what else i'm getting universe the person that's on aries mind how do they feel about aries five of cups they miss you okay so while you living life while you feeling good they're going through it <laughs> they're going through it you see what else i'm getting universe the person that's on aries mind what is their true feelings for aries five of swords they still have this energy though they feel like this person this person is a little cocky they think that they can still be with you Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. So this is someone that you have history with, a pattern with, okay? Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what is their intentions with Aries? Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what is the intention? Ten of Cups to win you back, okay? Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what actions will they take with Aries? Knight of Cups, they're coming your way. But a lot of you guys are going to reject this person. This is someone I feel like who don't really have... I feel like you... They're not at your level, okay? That's what I'm getting. They're not at your level. And this person might be opportunistic by nature. They like to be a user. And I still get this energy from them. They still use them, okay? Because how they're coming in is like in a low vibration. And what they're expecting, because this is their intention with you, is in the, like in the Ten of Cups, and that's a high vibration. So I don't like their energy. I don't feel like they really have changed, especially with that Five of Swords being here. Here, Five of Cups, these are all low vibrational, okay? So Universe, clarify the Eight of Cups. Universe, clarify the Eight of Cups, the world. Yeah, so I feel like whoever they was with, that didn't work out. Universe, clarify the world. Six of Cups could be someone that they had um, history with too, but this could be someone that they was with for a long time too, like probably longer than you, and they always go back to this ex. Okay, but that didn't work out again. <laughs> and you're not going to allow this person back in your space. I don't see that. I feel like you're going to be rejecting them because you know who this person is. This is someone who's overconfident and cocky for no reason because I don't know why they think that they can come back. <laughs> Okay, so this person sign, I would say Cancer. This is a strong Cancer energy. There's Pisces here. There's some Virgo, but strong Cancer, Pisces energy, a little bit Scorpio. So let's see what else I'm getting for you guys.
Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. I'm also just see how for Aries. So there is a truth in reverse. The fool. And uh, don't spend too much time with consultation, fortune, favorites, action. This is someone who was taking all their time to say sorry, to reach out, okay? Just be alone for now to love your craft. That's the advice. And then cancer. Could be a cancer. General energy is argue for your limitation, get to keep them. So this universe is trying to say, like, if it's resonating, don't allow this person back in your space, okay? This is someone who's not at your level. They're not going to respect your boundaries. And they're going to be dishonest as hell, too. So let's continue to move forward. Okay, so let's look at this deck. Okay, Unifrance, skip me a three cards, but I don't want to just see you have for Aries. Unifrance, give me a three cards, but I don't want to just see you have for Aries. Universe, we have three cards, so we must just abundance, loneliness, and perseverance, and love, okay, yep, so that's good, I don't see you guys settling, I don't see you getting weak for somebody, I don't see that, you guys know who you are, you know, you are abundant, you want someone to actually match your level, I don't, I don't feel like loneliness is in a this is like in a bad way. I feel like you guys are choosing to be alone, okay, at this moment. And then there's perseverance, yep. I do see that because you want true authentic love. You don't want to settle just to be in a relationship or just to have somebody. No, you're not in that energy. So let's look at what they would like to say. Right, universe, give me a three cards for the person that's on Aries' mind. What would like to say to Aries? Humor. So, they was there was truth in reverse and humor came out. So, they would like to say a lot of BS, basically blame and doubt. Wow. So, they really haven't changed. And then the abundance. Again, this is someone who know your worth. They always knew what you, who you are, your worth. They was just trying to see if you knew your worth, Okay. Um, and you guys do, and I feel like you guys are not going to be settling, entertaining this person at all. Um, there's, I feel like they're the same or even worse. I don't see that they have changed. So well, let's look here. Okay, Universe, give me a four card spread. I'm not just you have for Aries. Universe, give me a four card spread, three of swords. So this person could probably cause a lot of emotional, um, like to stir your emotions basically. And then there's the emperor. They're very, sometimes they could be, I mean sometimes, usually they're really inconsiderate. The truth came out twice now. Financial material changes, awareness. Yeah, this is someone who's a user. That's what I'm getting. The vibes are giving user vibes. Somehow, some way. Probably not necessarily financially, but it could be like, um, emotionally, sexually, foundation achievements, and sacral chakra. So this um, energy here, the chakra is actually connected to divine femininity and knowing who you are, knowing your worth, and that's what you guys did. Like, you guys know your worth, and you're not going to be caught up with them because you don't see them as your divine masculine or divine feminine. So... Let's look here. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. I'm also just you have four. I feel like you guys, you guys gonna meet like a new Sagittarius or Aries. I have to say the fool and mother. Universe, give me one more card. Priest the hyphen. Might meet a new Taurus as well, or this person could be a Taurus. Magician kind of energy. But with these two cards here, this is your energy, the fool, this is magician, Aries. I feel like you guys are just gonna remove yourself out of the situation. This card kind of reminds me of the imprints because you know who you are. And you're gonna stay true to you. You're gonna stay true. Okay, let's look here.
four. So universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Aries? It's up to you. Take action. Universe, give me two more cards. Compromise. Universe, give me one more card. No need to worry and get more information. So this person is expecting you to compromise, okay? But I feel like you're moving forward in a different direction. It's trying to say it's really up to you, but I feel like you guys are just going to listen to your intuition. You know that this is just not the best for you, okay? Universe, clarify, get more information. Reconsider perfect timing and yes. Hmm. So you guys might agree to this. Now, if you do agree, make sure this person is going to be consistent. So probably not be emotionally attached at the moment and just see if they're actually going to be consistent with you. But listen to your intuition. If your intuition is saying, nah, this person hasn't changed, listen to it. <laughs> so let's look at the other duck. Okay, so universe, give me a two card spread. What messages do you have for Aries? Dream seeds, sanctuary, and flow partnership. Yeah. So, but I'm trying to say there is a better relationship that's on the other side, on the other, like if you continue to move forward without this person. Um, the universe is probably want you to just get ready at the meantime. So take this time to heal during the singlehood. Take this time to heal, to focus on what you want to do, okay? And it's just going to happen for you guys. Jenna energy is quite nervous pain, okay? Quiet energy just me, it connects me to the power of now. So yeah, take this time to just focus on you, clear away from any distraction. I nurture my dream seeds with love and appreciation and allow them to unfold in their own time. Sanctuary. In my inner sanctuary, I connect to peace and a quietude and comfort. And then the flow of partnership. The ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be next on my path. Okay. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.